the call, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. T clocked. T's clocked. Okay. T's clocked. I don't see that shit, bro. Is it this? Nope. I don't see that shit. What it is on. It's all one word. T's clocked. Oh. Um. Oh, there you go. You mean. Uh, how do I lie? Snatch. <laughs> Fuck you, son. <laughs> Fuck you mean? Uh, How do I lie? Snatch! <laughs> Fuck you saying? <laughs>periods oh come on what man please i'm digging you are you a man I'm mad. snatch never say she had a baby by him she was pregnant by him mean? before you bump that loud Come mouth y'all so nice well snatch. turn what the fuck up then not this mouth and that was lame as fuck try again she had a portion on my soul like she can't comprehend nothing and want to argue right Boy, the comments be having me hollering. I just holler at this whole thread, but you right. Everybody who been around knew the tea. Yes, she was pregnant by Greedy. I remember that. She dropped the baby in the toilet. Yes. He had been bent over be tonight. Captain is tomorrow. Uh, the crossover we didn't expect. The crossover got me hollered. That's crazy. Happy to be owned by the system is something serious. Snatch. Oh, yeah. He'll be bent over soon as the blink goes out. Damn. Oh, he's on really K2. What do you mean? They smoking K2 in jail. So, oh yeah, like I talk to my baby moms all the time. Like I said, bitch. Okay. Go back to regular. Oh. Yeah, now we back. Y'all trying to clock my messages and shit. Y'all don't see shit. I talked to my baby moms, talked to my baby, I talked to my nigga bags. Yeah, that was it. That was it, man. Rick Ross got married. Oh. Rick Ross got married. Oh, congrats. Congrats. Y'all should lie. Tap the screen. Congrats. You feel me? Damn, congrats. I told y'all, bro, Greedy and Tate is in the same cell. You feel me? Drop the video. I'm not going to do that shit for y'all to text and say I doubt. What can I? Heck yeah. So, yeah, that's crazy. That's a crazy crossover. You feel me? I'm waiting on these marriage documents. No shit. You feel me? 
Brady thinks he keep one. I'm snatched. That was a little crazy ass word. Plot that T. They trying it. You feel me? Y'all should lie. Tap the screen. Ask it for a. They both in PC. Yeah, that is protected custody. You feel me? That is protected custody. Y'all should lie. Tap the screen. Should lie, man. She crazy fool. You feel me? Y'all should lie. Tap the screen. But anyways. I can't wait for motherfucking career book come out. I'm still waiting for the um fucking book. That fucking book. I'm gonna read that in career voice, bro. Hey, I want to tell y'all my story. My name's Career, and I'm surviving this nigga. One moment I was minding my motherfucking business, sitting back, doing what a hot girl do, on my shit, not worried about no fuck nigga or fuck bitch. And here go this nigga with these Timu ass motherfucking diamonds, these big ass watches, think he doing something. This bitch had the nerve to drop me a dragon telling me all his secrets and all his problems like he gonna change my motherfucking life. And here's me being a dumb bitch. Listen to the fuck nigga. Early one morning I got up, got on my life looking pretty as the baddest bitch I was. And I seen this dusty bitch yet. This her, this hoe was fat. Light it and blew it like a motherfucker. So I had to go check my background and go look at the YouTube pictures myself. I seen this fat bitch pissing on his fucking porch. It got me wondering. He don't seem like a bad nigga. It just seemed like he did with crazy bitches. Early in one morning, I finally texted the dumbass nigga because he keep texting me talking about he want to take me out to eat, take me this place, take me this place. So I gave it a try because bitch, I was hungry. I was making my way to Vegas anyway. July 15th, 2023. This is where it all started. Hell broke loose. I paid for my flight to go see my friend in Vegas. Got to Vegas, had a hot girl summer. I was about to go to the pool, get naked, and do my ones and twos over there. But this bum ass nigga kept texting me. Where you at? Where you at? I know you in Vegas. I seen you text there. I seen you posted it. Minding me, I ignored the nigga. 10 missed calls, gun to the farm, like, damn, this nigga desperate. You know what, bitch? I'm hungry. Girl, you want to get something to eat? As I told my homegirl. My homegirl said no. Career responded. Well, I got this broke ass nigga want to take me out to eat, girl. Should I go test it out? I'm like, fuck it. I got to test my motherfucking water then, because, bitch, I am hungry. And this nigga offered me free food. So Career went to the motherfucking um, nasty ass place that he was touching his little white girl and he got sued for it. Y'all know what I'm talking about right there off the strip. Um, it's, it's the little place he always take all these hoochie mamas and shit. Right there on the strip is a little blue diner. Y'all know the little diner right there by Ross. There's a little side of Ross. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And he was recording Peppermill. This broke ass nigga took me to Peppermill and shit. Don't get me wrong. Food wasn't all that, but I was hungry ass bitch, so I had to eat. I ordered me a salmon with some chicken tenders. That's his favorite meal. I don't know why the fuck him and this bitch are mine to keep eating chicken tenders and shit. I was gonna go to Ali Carl to get me a salad, but bitch, I ain't that cheap. Bitch, you gotta pay for me. So I'm eating my food. He paid for it. Don't get me wrong. The nigga had a little coin. Big old check. He got paid. I can see the big old check rolling out his motherfucking pockets. Not because he don't have no money. This nigga was driving an old ass car. Just suited up with big rims and a good painting. Not impressing. Fuck it. So we talking. He telling me that he doing poly audition. He would love for me to come to his poly audition. I didn't give him no pussy the first day, though. I would never give my pussy to this weird ass nigga. This nigga had fake hair. So boom. We went out, got a couple of drinks. We started talking. I was asking him about his life with Armani. Was he happy and shit? Why he want to do poly? He telling me all his narratives and all his reasons why he want poly and shit. And I started feeling bad for the nigga because I know the nigga that was a broke bitch. And I know that hoe did not do shit. She don't got no money. She don't got no car. This hoe barely can know how to cook. So I asked him, do he know how to cook? He said, no. Only thing we do is go out to eat. 
I'm like, damn, that hoe don't cook? Emerald, career voice. He said, no. I looked at this nigga, I'm like, damn, I wish you could do better. It got 12 o'clock at night. I went back to my home girl house, you know, I went live and this bitch nigga came in my live again. I got for the free, free food and shit. He dropped me off at home, but now I'm on my shit, getting my, my gifts and shit, you know, telling people where I was. And out of nowhere, this fuck ass nigga say, I like how we was tonight. It was cool. It was a vibe. I didn't want nobody to know this motherfucker that we linked up. So I had to play it cool. Like, yeah, it was cool. I had to text him on the back end, like, why you do that? I didn't want nobody to know that we linked up. This bitch had the nerve to tell me, man, you acting like I'm a nobody. Bitch, you is a no fucking body. I didn't want nobody to know that we linked up, bitch. He go to comments. Oh my God, y'all linked up, y'all linked up, y'all linked up. Oh shit, oh God, damn, oh my God. Now all the bingo knew in 5.3 seconds that we linked up. Got a text message from my homeboy. Why you linking up with this dookie booty ass nigga? Got another text message from my friend. Girl, I know you fucking lying to me. Is it true? Got another text message from my mama. Baby, you could do better. I got another text message from my friend. Oh my God. This is going to be an overwhelming week. Bitch, I came to Vegas to have a party. Give me some sugar daddies in. This is what I came into. So I'm like, fuck it. I need some views. He texts me earlier this morning. Say, do you want to go to breakfast with me on mining? I replied to him. Sure. Beagle already know we linked up. He said, okay, cool. I'll come pick you up in my Lamborghini. Line Drew, it was never a Lamborghini. The bitch picked me up in this old ass Jaguar like he was eating it up, baby. I was embarrassed when he parked it in the valet. This bitch parked this old ass car in valet. So I got my happy ass out. I got my little fluffy stomach, but it's good. It's, it's a bad bitch summer. I'm supposed to be going to work out with my homeboy. Work out. Keyword. He was going to slap me out, but it's just going to do. Put my black dress on. Got ready with the whoop. We got to this motherfucking place. It was I. Right. I had some shrimp and grits, and this hoe had fucking chicken tenders. Why are this hoe Omani and Tiki always getting chicken tenders like these bitches is children? But you know me, a fat bitch gotta eat. Fat bitch always gotta eat. Bitch, and I'm eating. I don't, I'm not playing with none of this shit. This nigga didn't even pay for my food, so I had to pay for my own damn food. So I'm like, fuck it, nigga. Okay, rude, no gentleman. He even opened the door for us. So boom, I ate my good bad food. We finished the food and we had to go somewhere. But this nigga taking all goddamn day acting like he a damn celebrity with these fake, these fake ass, heavy ass damn chains. It was blinding my eyes. It was blinding the blind person. Cause bitch, he was blind. He could see that he smelled the fucking fake chains. He smelled like fucking burnt pennies. So I had to spray my motherfucking body with fucking perfume and shit, girl. It was six o'clock. This nigga riding down a strip like he actually doing something. This old ass car ain't getting us nowhere. So I'm like, can we go get some gas? Why this hoe of mine to get out the fucking car and pump the gas like he was a king? I looked at this bitch. I'm like, bitch, is you stupid? But I just mind my motherfucking business. Walked in the store, got me some cigarettes, a pack of new ports, and a Sprite, and some hot chips, and some bags of motherfucking sour Skittles. Walked my happy ass back in the car, got in, and looked at her mind like, bitch, couldn't be me. I might have just sat there like she was just the slowest bitch ever, even though she cute. I can't never play in my mind face, but the hoe dumb. She just don't know. Girl, could have did better. Part one was good, y'all. Part one, chapter one. Hey, chapter one was good. Hey, y'all fuck with chapter one. Hey, y'all fuck with chapter one. Look, that was my boy, Kareel. I fuck with Kareel. That's my dog, my nigga. But I got to tell her story. Part one. That was good. Okay, 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 chapter one. You feel me? Chapter one. Oh, that's chapter one. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go. Let's get into chapter two. Let's get it, y'all. We just chilling. Okay, chapter two. The fake mansion. So boom. It was 7 o'clock and my flight was at 3 p.m. Vegas time and I got to go to New Jersey or Detroit. 
By the time I had to get there, I asked him, can he drop me off? My friend didn't have no money and I was tripping. This nigga talking about he want to be with me. So I'm like, fuck it. Let this nigga trick on me. Can you drop me off at the airport? My ticket already paid for. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I waited fucking two hours to this bitch ass nigga to come. And I'm already 30 minutes late for my fucking flight. I had to call the fucking flight people for reservations. I had to rebook my shit. I was so fucking heated, but I had to play it cool because I didn't want this dusty ass nigga kicking me out of his car. The motherfucking seats was black as fuck. It had nothing but makeup on it. And this nigga just talking out his fucking mouth and his breath was stink like he don't brush it. All this motherfucking penny smelling. But girl, carry on. He got me to the airport. I texted him like, have a good day. He said, yeah, you too, baby. I'm like, ugh. I was disgusted for a moment. Hit my homeboy up like, where you at? He says, shit, I'm at the crib. I sat at the airport for two hours for my flight. I didn't have nowhere else to go. That nigga texted me again. I don't know where. Did you make it? In my head, I want to tell this bitch, you made me late for my shit. You told me you're going to be here in 15 minutes, but two hours later, you pulling up in this old ass shit. So I played it cool. I said, I'm about to get off right now. So I got home, got to Jersey, uh, Detroit, wherever the fuck I live at, right? Five minutes later, this whole act like he got a GPS on me. Like, I know you just made it home. How you doing? I'm like, damn, this nigga on my bumper. Fuck. Nigga, this is just, my God. I'm getting text messages all goddamn day about you, nigga. Like, what's up? What you told these people? I, I don't, girl, you know how I say it, bro. I just, I just told the people that we'll be a good relationship. No, we will never be a good relationship. I just wanted to say, but I'm like, no, you know, we just friends. You, you, you can't be doing that. In his words, man, I know what's mine, baby. And you mine. I'm like, you don't get that flattery shit over. Tuesday morning, career wake up again. And this nigga sent me two dragons. That's $400. I'm like, oh, oh, this nigga really want my attention, attention. So, you know, we say, fuck it. Let me get this nigga a try. He can't be all too bad. So before I even start talking to this nigga and want to settle down with this nigga, I went look up YouTube. I seen a couple shit with TC and this white girl that he raped. But you know, this Beagle, people just make up shit, make up assumptions. I just got paid because my father passed away. A hundred thousand. I'm a rich bitch right now. I got my own place. I'm Gucci. I don't need a nigga. But here go little dumbass me. Giving this broke ass nigga my energy, my time. But I do need some dick. I need my ass ate. This nigga is a nasty ass nigga. Ain't no niggas gonna eat that ass just like this nasty nigga. I just hear about it all goddamn day. So I tested it out. He hit my line. He paid for my flight and I came out. He said, you want to do a big ass coming? Like everybody going to watch it on Bego. She was like, uh... I think um we should go live the next day, you know, is a mighty cool with it. He go him. That bitch don't care. She just here. I don't fuck on your money. Your money just always in the house. You don't fuck a money. Y'all been together 16 years? Yeah, I don't fuck that bitch. I mean, that's why I be doing poly and shit to scam bitches and shit. I'm gonna put you in though. Oh, you in it like that. I'm like, yeah. So here goes. Good for nothing. My dumb ass flew to Vegas again from this bum ass bitch. I had a hundred thousand in my motherfucking bank account, but look at my dumb ass over here laid up with this fucking goofy and his dick wasn't good. He ate my ass good, slutted me out, asked me all these damn questions. But look at this dumb bitch. I gave this bitch 20 fucking bands the first time I met this dumb bitch because he ate my ass so good. I was in love with it. This bitch didn't do shit good, but tell me motherfucking lies. He's sneaking around with Barbie. He told me that he just don't want to fuck with the bitch. He just wanted money from the hoe. But all along, he's sneaking in fucking geeking in with this hoe. I don't like this bitch. This bitch, no, I don't like it. This ain't no competition, bitch. And this is a war. And this hoe coming against me and my motherfucking man. You think I give a fuck about anyone in this fucking shit? I gift this nigga a million fucking beans. He ain't dropped me fucking fucking shit back. I'm tired of this fuck ass nigga. So let the game fucking begin. 
He told me millions of times that he ain't gonna talk to this bitch. That this bitch was in shit. That this bitch below bearer. That this bitch only got money. For all along, he creeping and sneaking, telling me all these motherfucking side ass dreams and telling money anything and this whole believe it. My dumb ass sat here and listened to his stupid lies again while him doing all these poly auditions ain't giving me no motherfucking attention. And this bitch had the audition. I gave this bitch 1.2 motherfucking mil on his fucking board. And guess what this bitch gave me? Nothing. He's a con artist. You see, there was con artist dude. He's a fucking narcissist. He's playing in my fucking face. He smacked me and think this shit was cool because I was getting gifts from another man. He mad that the bitch was in my motherfucking life giving me gifts, but he go around telling people that he she's sexy and shit. Seven o'clock in the morning. I walk my happy ass downstairs about to cook me a meal in this fucked ass, nasty ass mansion. Green motherfucking carpet that I shitted on. I'm sick of myself. I don't know why the fuck I did this shit. To make this bitch happy? Girl, what is you doing? My inner thoughts got to be killing me. I'm sitting here thinking, what the fuck I'm doing? My home girls, girl, you playing yourself. You playing yourself like a fool. Girl, how I'm playing myself like a fool and you fucking with this nigga? And you don't know how to run. He beat you every day, ho. How you gonna tell me about me and my nigga? I had to cut this bitch off. But I'm back at this house with this nasty ass nigga with this yarn in his fucking head like he's the baddest thing while this nigga's not a trophy. I don't know even what the fuck happened. Like he put voodoo on me. Like I invested so much fucking money in this bitch. And the only way I'm gonna leave if I get my motherfucking money back. I love this fucking man. But this man got me fucked up. This man is so fucking harsh, man. Like I just don't know. I sit back and think how I'm going to kill this bitch. Poison his food, give him rat poison. While we in a car, twist the fucking wheel for he can run into another car for his Bentley could fall down and break up and blow up. Put gasoline in his motherfucking shit and pop it with a firecracker. Put hot sauce and fucking vinegar and fucking hot grits on the stove and throw it on his bitch ass. I just don't know how I'm going to get his ass. I'm sitting here thinking, why? Why me? I'm a good bitch. Any man would love me. Any man would cherish me. But here my dumb ass is sitting here with this bitch and he's a con artist. He knew all the right position. He knew my body. This bitch knew my fucking body. And he sit here and giving my dick to another bitch. I'm going to kill his ass. I'm going to kill him. He told me that I could have his motherfucking car. It's a Range Rover, right? He told me I could have his Range Rover when I come out there and move out there. We had a conversation that we I was going to leave everything for him. He told me when I come there, I will have the Range Rover that's in the shop and it been there for four fucking years. This bitch got an old ass Range Rover and he still didn't get out of the shop yet. I came here thinking I was going to be the best bitch of mine to sit in the other room. That was my girl, but this hoe make me sick. She don't clean up. She sit in that motherfucking room look like nothing don't happen. And watch me get beat on. Like, bitch, you let this fuck ass nigga put his hands on me? You don't do shit and sit there? You weird ass bitch. I wanted to choke this hoe. But this hoe had me fucked up because that's sister wife. But we can't be sister wife if we both don't even have a ring. This bitch don't have the audacity to get us a ring. This hoe ass bitch been here 16 years and I thought I could get a ring before this hoe. But I was a fucking fool. I was played. He played in my fucking face. This bitch kept talking to me, telling me all the good things and everything that he gonna do for me. Now, one thing he done for me, bitch, the only thing he gave me was some ass licking and ass thingy. That's the best thing that man actually had. I don't know. 
Was it the money that I gave him? Or did I actually love this man? I don't fucking know. I just don't fucking know. I feel like I invested so much in this nigga. This nigga owe me. I made this bitch. This nigga won't be ETKL without me. This whole her and this bitch right now would be evicted if it wasn't for me. I gave this bitch a place to stay. This is my money. This dusty ass bitch had the nerve to go fuck on a nigga named Reese and my dumb ass had to go to this bitch and play like sister like you good. We ain't going back to that nigga. None of that shit. That nigga ain't shit. Bitch, I was getting all this tea for you and you had the audacity to go live about me and talk shit about me, bitch. And when I'm giving you all the receipts and all the proof that this hoe cheated on you, bitch, and got pregnant by this nigga. I want to say I'm wrong, bitch. No, you fucking wrong, hoe. This bitch got me fucked up. I would to kill this hoe. My own flesh and blood don't even want to talk to me because I'm fucking with this leg. I sit here every fucking day contemplating what the fuck. I'm doing over here. I'm mad at this bitch while she fucking my nigga. And I'm mad that I can't even fuck my nigga. This bitch don't even give me no energy no more. I'm sitting here thinking, why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Girl, when the tea came out that this bitch lied about his age and his eye color, girl, I gag. I sat there, I'm like, girl. What I put myself into. This bitch even had the nerve to tell the people that I was pregnant. And I had to go along with his fucking lie. Not once, but bitch twice. I had to say I was pregnant. Because this dumb ass bitch got caught in some fucking shit. And want to switch around and act like I was pregnant. Now everybody asking me, where the baby at? What? I'm sitting here thinking, contemplating. Like, what the fuck going on? I had to lie for this man, y'all. I had to fucking lie. Y'all don't ever fucking understand that I sit here and lie. My story is crazy. Surviving TKO 3.69. Then this whole boss life come out of nowhere. Traveling in this big ass U-Haul with all this goddamn shit. Collecting roaches, collecting termites, and collecting motherfucking bed bugs. Girl, I had to go back to New York. Girl, I'm not about to sit here with this fat nasty ass bitch. Then this bitch PND come out of here with this pathetic ass wig. Then the audacity this hoe wear the wig that Barbie gave her. Bitch, I would drag this hoe. Y'all like part two? Hey, I'll fuck with Korea. I just want to do her story, cause I can do her story. Like, this should be funny as fuck, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, this should be funny, bro. Like, for real though. Y'all gotta listen to Karisha. Funny in some way, bro. She be saying, click, like, she be saying some shit, and I just be listening. I'm like, okay. Yeah, she's saying some hints. She's saying some fucking hints. Yeah. Is she really writing a book? Yeah, she writing a book. And when she write it and sell it, bitch, I'm gonna be the first person to buy it on my soul. No, bro. No, for real, bro. She is funny, bro. That lady funny. Hey, real shit. Y'all gotta understand. I write skits. I, well, I don't write. I do my own skits, so I'm really creative with shit. You know, chapter three, I want chapter three. Okay, you need, you don't need to buy it. You the book. <laughs> Yo, y'all took the screen, shut up. Let's go, chapter three. Chapter three. June 1st, PND came over. Fucking my man. <laughs> I was screaming my man, my man, my man, always. I was always going head first behind this man. This man talk about me like a dog. And the only thing I try to do is love this bitch. Stop answering my phone calls. I can't even get a fucking Lunchable out this bitch ass nigga. This bitch didn't even brought me a brush. Didn't even get my nails done. How you want Polly? And don't can't even do shit for your women. You got money with this Timu ass shit. Y'all rocking Timu ass outfits. You rocking this $100,000 fake ass jewelry. $500 on your fucking neck is gangrene. I walked to your house as a bad bitch and I left like a fucking gremlin. <laughs> I don't even want to say shit some more. Like, girl, I sit here every day thinking about what I'm going to do with my life. I already fucked up and I regretted it. I regret this shit, girl. Do, 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 do. Phone call from my homegirl, Tiffany. What's up with it, Tiffany? Girl, you know TKO doing another poly audition, right? 
again, girl? Like, girl, when you gonna stop? He's not happy with none of the bitches he's been with. He's been with everybody. He's not happy. Girl, I know. Girl, I'm going to call you back. All right, hit me. I will. Click. Me texting this bitch-ass nigga once again. This hoe had the nerve to tell me Zay, whatever fucking name, Z, Zay, Z, Z, B, B, want to be a fucking antibiotic. She built like a Pitabismal bottle, this fucking pit the gun looking bitch. Pelican looking hoe. Bitch like to see Addo's Pelican. Fuck this hoe. Talking about him and her is cool again. Ho, the only reason this bitch cool with you because you getting clout again, bitch. You didn't have clout because it was me. Bitch, me. Why you doing all that, babe? What, what, what I'm doing? I'm telling you how I feel and your bitch ass out here being friendly with these hoes that don't even like you. You don't got money for all these bitches. Career. Man, stop fucking playing with me. Like, I won't come over there and smack you. Smack who? Because, bitch, you smack me again. I'm going to put my hands on you. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'm going to see you. Come out here right now. Okay, daddy. I'm on the way. Oh. Shit. My brain. My brain. Hold on. My brain, bro. Like... I have my brain itchy, boy. I'm over here getting lit, boy. Hold on, the story is getting crazy. Cause we still gotta get to knowledge. We gotta get to K9. Bro, we gotta get we gotta get to all this situation. The Reese house. We gotta get to a lot of situations, bro. The fight was well, about to be a fight, but it was never for a Caribbean and the lean man. It, it was crazy, bro. It is. Lean Man is my bro. That was y'all used to call him Lean Man. That's what y'all knew. Guap. He's, he's not a Lean Man, but a lot of people used to call him Lean Man. We gotta, bro, we gotta get to talking, bro. It's a lot of stories, bro. Like, the story is crazy. Like, bro, my brain itching, boy. Like, dog. And they can say the Lean Man. Let's go. Here you go. We're not finished with chapter three. It's seven o'clock at night. This bitch talking about some goddamn fucking lean. You bitch, like, I'm over here fucking with a nigga who drank lean. Oh, my God. What's wrong with this man? But that's my man, though. I'm going to stick beside him, even though that I don't like this shit. So, I'm going to get him some money. I gave this bitch-ass nigga $2,000 to go buy him a pint of lean. Do you know this dumbass bitch drank all the lean in the same goddamn day? Like, is this nigga stupid? You don't know how to save drugs? He go a mighty dumbass. Yeah, girl. We gotta go get him some more. How is you stupid? This is my money. You ain't putting in. Your fat ass don't even dress no more. They kicked you out the fucking club. Let's not forget, bitch. I'm the money maker. I'll call the shots. Girl. But I'm the main. I'm here to stay. This hoe make, about to make me punch her whale ass. This hoe look like the whale off a of Spongebob. I'm over here breaking out because this nigga telling me to shit and hold my shit. Like, I'm on some sick shit right now. I hate this nigga. But I love him at the same... Girl, my mind is everywhere. So I put on Key Sweat. My mind is telling me no. But my body, my body is telling me yeah, yeah. And baby, the song came on and I was horny as fuck. This nigga had the nerve to come down there to downstairs and rub my leg, girl. I was hot like lava. I was ready to fuck this nigga life up. I, I, I stopped forgetting about the 2000. You feel? I didn't give a fuck no more, girl. The way he ate this pussy, I was up on the wall, girl. I was oh, Y'all don't understand. The story goes on. This fucking bitch. Hey, baby. What the fuck are you doing? It's story over. Story time over with. Story time over with. Oh, yeah. Now I'm forgetting. What are you doing, Cam? Nothing, baby. I'm over here talking about the story time. Huh? I was doing story time thinking, but you're looking good. All right, come on. Story over with, y'all. Story over.